Hi Sunshines and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a happy Wednesday. So today I have a little bit different video for you. I am signed up for the Burt's Bees emails and I got an email saying they had a limited edition spring box available. So of course that perked up my little puppy ears and I clicked on it to see what it was all about. So basically they have a quarterly box. This is the spring box. It contains nine full-size products. It was $50 which ends up being about $5.50 per piece and y'all know if you shop Burt's Bees that most of their products are way above that price So I thought it was a good deal I wanted to try it and bring it to you and show you and we'll all discover it together and see what we think So if you're new to my channel, my name is Christy and welcome. I am so incredibly happy to have you Thank you for taking time out of your day to be here If you're new comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally in the comments Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's go ahead and look into this box so this is the way it came did you guys know that there was like a quarterly first bees box I didn't I'm gonna link it below if you're interested but oh it comes actually in this box that is so pretty okay so that's what it looks like it just says birchbees.com and it is super heavy so we know it's loaded down and when we open it, this is what we see, okay? All right, so the first thing in here is a Burt's Bees bag. That's really cute with the poppies on them. I like the coral poppies, those are pretty. Pretty little makeup bag. All right, so that's not bad. That doesn't make me too sad. I feel like, you know, I have a lot of makeup bags, but I can always use another one. The next thing is the detoxifying charcoal sheet mask with honey. So I predict this might be in a upcoming Masking Mondays video. I've never tried a Burt's Bees mask before, I don't think. So I'm anxious to try those. The next thing in here is the Burt's Bees Micellar Water Cleansing Towelettes, which my daughter uses and loves. And if I can buy Burt's Bees, they're in the budget. This is the brand I usually buy because it's a little more natural and better for her skin. So happy to have those. All right, the next thing is, oh, this is cute. It's a headband. Cute, and I do use these when I um, take off my makeup and wash my face, and the one that I have is looking pretty scary, although this would be a really cute fashion one. I just don't typically wear headbands, but this would be cute for that anyway. But I'll just use it to like take off my makeup. Adorable. All right, the next thing is, and I actually saw these and have clicked on them before and wanted to try them. These are called Seedles, and they're hummingbird and butterfly seed balls. So you just basically toss on the soil. You don't have to bury them or anything and let the sun and the rain do the rest. And I love birds. There's tons of birds in our yard. You hear them when I film outside, but I also love butterflies to be in our yard. So I think that's really fun to invite them in. Okay. Y'all, there, I think there's more than nine products in here because this box is so full. All right, the next thing is the Calming Lavender and Honey Body Wash. Nice. I haven't ever used a Burt's Bees Body Wash before. Oh, that smells really good. Anything with lavender, I feel like they have me from the beginning. So calming and lovely. So lavender and honey, doesn't that sound amazing? The fan is on above my head and I have these little, like hairs kind of going in front of my face. It's driving me crazy, sorry. All right, the next thing is the Burt's Bees Micellar Cleansing Water. Very cool, I've not tried this product before either, but I do love a good micellar cleansing water. So, glad for that. They're all safety sealed. That smells really good too though. With my lighting, I can't tell. No, it doesn't seem to be, doesn't say it has a specific scent, it just smells clean. All right, the next thing in here is, what is this? This is the Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. Oh, I want to put that on now, but I have lipstick on. This smells like the best, sweetest mint. I want to eat it. Like, I want to lick it. <laughs> that smells so good. All right, that's going straight into my nightstand. That is really good really pretty and I haven't I don't think I've tried many of these products I'm really excited about it the next thing in here is the Burt's Bees hydrating gel cream and this has royal jelly in it 
to, I can't, it, it's really, really thin. It's really thin. So that, that's an interesting texture. I'm actually gonna, it's an interesting texture. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. It's very thin. Ooh, that feels really nice though. It seems to absorb really quickly and almost feels like it's a little bit cooling. And it doesn't really have a scent at all. Interesting. I'm using right now the Burt's Bees Day Cream and I really am enjoying it. All right, the next thing is a Cucumber Mint Moisturizing Lip Balm. And actually, I usually have a four pack of Burt's Bees Lip Balms in my nightstand. And as I need them, I'll pull one and put it in my purse or put it in my car or whatever. But my daughter just took the last one. So I will definitely be repla replacing this in my nightstand. The Cucumber Mint sounds lovely. All right, and y'all know, if you followed my channel for a while, that I love the Burt's Bees Lip Stuff. I think... It's my favorite. I don't think it's the longest lasting, but I love it. These are typically the ones that I put in my purse, and these are the liquid lipsticks. Now, I've never had the liquid ones before, so these colors are beautiful. I'm trying to see if I can read what colors they are. I can't read what colors they are. Something petal and something toast. <laughs> I will link them below. You know, I've said this before, but it's great when you're 40. There's so many wonderful things about being 40, but the one thing that sucks is your eyesight <laughs> starting to go, right? Um, anyway, those are really pretty. I'm actually gonna open one of these because I wanna know about this. Okay, so it's got like a doe foot. I have lipstick on, I'm just gonna swatch it. Yeah, it's just really pretty. And I think I've told you before, like I stuck Burt's Bees lipsticks in my mom's Christmas stocking and I gave one to my stepmom. And I feel like they always are colors that everybody can use. There's nothing outrageous on there. I think whatever shade you tend to buy works for most people. They're not just outrageous. They're just really pretty neutral pinks and taupe colors. All right, so that was my box. I actually really think this box was worth it. Two lipsticks, the day cream, or not, this isn't the day cream, what was this called? This was the hydrating gel cream, which I'm anxious to try because the texture is really weird on that. This lip stuff, y'all, I'm telling you, I wanna eat it, <laughs> it's so good. I've been looking at these, so anything that will invite creatures into my yard, you know we've got raccoons and possums and cardinals and all kinds of things, so the butterflies might come too. Lip balm. This nice size of micellar water, the nice size of the lavender and honey body wash, the cleansing cloths, the detox charcoal mask, which I need right now because my skin is not doing its best, the headband and the little bag. What do you guys think of this box? Did you think $50 was a fair price for it? I definitely do. I will link it below and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.